What's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the ultimate survival treehouse that also has a water slide. Honestly guys, I'm really proud of this one. I think that this might be my best treehouse that I've ever made. If you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel and click the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And also, just a little side note, I have also made the interior, so if you make it all the way to the end of the video, I'll show you the inside of the house too, and all of the fun inner workings of how everything happens. But you'll have to make it to the end to see that part of the video. But without any further ado, let's get started. Whee! Now, before we start building, here are all of the materials that we are going to be using. Please make sure that you have all of those and enough of those materials as well. The amount of ground space required is a 14 by 14 block area. This is the very smallest amount of space you need on the ground. This does not cover all of the other things that you might want to place around the base of the treehouse for decoration. If you want to better plan out your build, make this grid. If you don't, then feel free not to, it's not necessary. Pause the video if you have to, gather your materials, make sure you've got enough room, make sure you're ready to make this epic treehouse. And once you are, we can begin. So ladies and gentlemen, step one involves us coming all the way to the very fun right hand corner of the grid that we have made. If you've not made the grid, it's no big deal, just hang in there one moment. From this corner of the grid, I want you to count backwards, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Count to the left by one, and this is where I want to start. Place an oak wood in this position. Place an oak wood going left. Place an oak wood back and left. Then an oak wood behind that. An oak wood going back and right. An oak wood going to the right an oak wood going front and right, and then finally an oak wood in front of that to make sort of kind of a circle. It's not really a circle, it's more of a square, but you guys get the idea. On top of every single oak block here, I want you to place 21 additional oak woods. This takes some counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. And then you want to do the same to all of the other oak woods. It is always worth mentioning that you can alter this if you like. You may feel as though that you want to have a higher tree, which I respect and understand, build it to the sky limit if you like. However, the water slide is sort of kind of de designed to be at this kind of height. You will need to make alterations to the build if you do build it higher or lower, but absolutely feel free to build it higher, I just wouldn't build it any lower though because then you're gonna have to start really, really taking care of what you do in regards to the water slide and the pathway up to the top of the tree. This is a good height, feel free to only make it higher, is my suggestion. Once you have made the trunk of the tree like this, what we are now going to do is place ourselves two birchwood planks in front of the very top two oak woods, like this. One, two, one, two, like that. I want you to extend the birch wood planks left a row and right a row. They should connect back to the tree trunk. I then want you to place a birch wood plank on top of this left birch wood plank and on top the right birch wood plank. Place upside down birch wood stairs between and then two rows of glass on top of those birchwood stairs with birchwood planks left and right of the glass. Additionally, we are going to place a row of birchwood planks on top of this, on top of the birchwood planks and the glass, both of them. We are then going to extend the top of this window here all the way to the right by 10 additional rows of birch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
We're then going to extend downwards by three. One, two, three. And then I want you to extend the bottom of this inwards around. Place two upside down birchwood stairs. One, two. Then a birch plank on the other side. Connect it upwards. Fill the middle, or I should better say, fill on top of the stairs blocks in using glass. And then fill the right of this in using birchwood planks like this. We are then going to add two more rows of birch wood going left of the window. One row, and then two rows like this. Then I want you to kind of meet this side in the middle by extending the left window here to the right by two rows. One, two, like this. We are now going to extend the birch wood planks here forwards a row on the left and right. So the birch wood plank area left and right of the empty space forwards a row. Place a glass right at the top in the middle. And then I want you to place oak wood slabs left and right of the top of the door. Extend the oak wood slabs forwards a row. And then inwards. Up. In. And finally up. Extend the necessary blocks backwards to form a doorway. Later on, there is going to quite literally be a door there. You can even add it now, actually, if you like. All you would have to do is add a row of birch wood underneath the doorway like this, and then place an oak door in that position. There is a lot more to the house, however, so once you have completed that, we are going to crack on a little bit. So the next thing that we are going to do is come all the way over to the right side. I want you to take the very bottom right corner of the build here, this birch wood plank block, and I want you to extend it to the right by three blocks. One, two, three. And then upwards by four. One, two, three, four. Take a nice little sideways view of what we've just made, and then I want you to extend all of this backwards by six rows. It would be easier if you only extend the four blocks backwards by six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see that we're leaving the blocks underneath completely alone. I now want you to extend these blocks inwards by three rows. One, two, three and extend them inwards towards the center of the treehouse by that many rows. I now want you to extend that third row backwards by four rows. One, two, three, four. And of course, extend all of them backwards by four rows. We now want to extend across the back of the treehouse. We are going to extend across the back by in total 15 rows. That's a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we want to make all of these the same height. We will be adding windows and stuff as we see fit later. We don't have to do it now. It's actually easier to add those sorts of details in after the fact. When it comes to this side of the treehouse, what we're going to do here, we want to take the very top of this side of the treehouse and extend it upwards by an additional three rows. One, two, three. We then want to do this. We want to extend inwards and then upwards. We then want to go to the right by five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we want to do this four times. This exact same thing. We want to go down and right. That's once. Down and right. That's twice. Down and right. That's three times. And then down and right. That would be, of course, four times. We are then going to extend and connect to the front of the build like this. And then what we're going to do is we are going to extend the front of the build here 
Next to this window, we actually have to extend it a couple of rows backwards. We want to do one row coming backwards, and then two rows coming backwards. We are then going to extend this two rows coming out, one, and then two, just like that. So you can see we create this nice little gap here. Fill that little middle part in using birchwood planks. I would highly recommend filling this entire side here in using birchwood planks. We can carve out the detail later. This is where the grand water slide is going to begin. So don't worry, there is a lot more to this particular part of the build than might meet the eye right now. So, now that we have accomplished this, ladies and gentlemen, I want to turn our attention all the way back over to this side of the treehouse, the right side. So, I want to give you guys an idea of what this side of the treehouse is about. We need to install a staircase on this side. This is easily done by adding oak wood stairs in this position here between these two rows of empty birch, and then adding three rows of oak wood stairs coming upwards like this to come and meet the same height as the surrounding area. We want to place birch wood planks on the inside of the stairs here, and the birch wood planks want to just serve as a way to box in the staircase. You can feel free to completely fill the top of the treehouse here in using some form of oak, whether that is oak slabs or oak planks. Oak slabs are more difficult to work with, however, they give you a little bit more headspace. Oak planks, on the other hand, are a more solid, easy to use block, however, do not give you the same versatility and space as an oak wood slab would. Choose wisely. Now that you have done all of that using your oak slabs, we are going to add a very small bit of detail onto the house. You see, on this side here, there is actually going to be an entrance into the house. The entrance is going to be somewhere in these blocks here, but it wants to have a little overhang. We're going to use oak wood slabs like this to create a small overhang, just overhanging where the entrance will be. It's just a nice little bit of detail, like so. What we're also going to do is we are going to add a balcony area to this part of the house. To add the balcony, we need, we need birch wood slabs and we'll even need actual solid oak wood blocks too. We are going to extend the birch wood plank area here from this back corner and all the way over to the other back corner we want to place one two three birch wood slabs coming out across and connected to the other back side of the build i don't actually have oak wood planks on me but i'm going to destroy these birch wood planks here and i'm going to replace them using oak planks I can use the slabs as planks as a little bit of a placeholder. We don't need too many of them. This certainly isn't the most efficient way to do this, but you can absolutely get around it, especially if you feel as though that your inventory is a little bit cluttered, like I always feel like it is. But this is creating a back balcony for the treehouse, which we can have a look at the surrounding environment from. Isn't it lovely? Coming back towards the front of the treehouse, I want you to take this corner birchwood plank block. And on top of this, I want you to use oak fence, and I want you to place a fence. Going left of this block, I want you to place an additional four fence. One, two, three, four. Then place a birchwood plank. We actually then need to use birchwood fence as well. We want to place three birch fence going left. One, two, three. And then another birch plank. Extend both planks backwards by two. One, two. One, two. We're then going to extend upwards by two. One, two. One, two. 
Place an upside down birch wood stairs coming inwards from both sides. And then you can place a birch wood plank on top of these and then in the middle, although we might have to get rid of the two corner birch wood planks later. In the middle of this area is going to be a door. The door is set one row backwards from the actual birch frame. The reason being for this is because we want to place oak around the door and we want to have a really cool effect so from the outside we'll have this really nice archway look like this. I really like that. And now that we have done this we can actually construct another huge part of the house by taking out our virtual planks and we can extend backwards this row of free birch wood here place eight rows of birch coming backwards from this one two three four five six seven eight it will line up with the opposite side you want to have in total three rows of birch planks extending back you then want to from this row of free birch wood that we have right here we want to create a doorway doorway again so we're going to place an upside down birch wood stairs coming inwards, a birch wood plank on top, extend right by two, and then place an upside down birch wood stairs underneath, birch wood plank going right, and then extend down. In the center of this shall be a door, and surrounding the door shall be the same oak wood planks that we placed earlier. And once again, we are going to be adding further detail to the house as we progress, but for now, actually we will build this in ladies and gentlemen. What I want you to do is install a rather large window. We do this by placing a row of upside down birchwood stairs. We place birchwood planks on the left and right birchwood stairs coming upwards to meet the frame. And then we place glass, preferably glass pane inside of this window area here and like this just like that that's perfect and then later on we'll join everything else up we're going to use oak fence to place oak fence around the outside of the top of the treehouse the oak fence is going to go all the way around on top of all of the birch like this so you can see we have a nice little area up here which you can use for all sorts of different things and we have a balcony that goes all the way around like this we do have yet to seal up a little bit of the house, but it's actually quite easy to do indeed. I mean, if if you like, you can do a little bit of it now. I'm very tempted to do, do a little bit of it now before we move on to the platform. So, the roof is actually a, a little bit strange, I will grant you, but most of it is covered up anyway, so it doesn't really have to be that fancy. The roof begins its journey on the front left-hand corner of the house, which is here. And we want to place a row of oak wood stairs that comes across the front of the house like this. They'll come as far as where we were just working on with the, uh, with the terrace next to the stairs. We then want to place additional rows of, of oak wood stairs here that come up and sit on the side of the balcony area like this. The Oakwood stairs actually want to come up about as high as here, and probably no higher. Additionally, we want to add in a, a roof to this little mini part, uh, this little balcony area here. And to do that, we're going to have to destroy that stair, turn it into a solid plank block. And then we want to place an Oakwood slab here, coming out in front of the frame. And then the same on this side, extending out from that side of the frame. And then you simply extend these slabs up and inwards like this on both sides. Just like that. And this is where we actually have to delete those corner birch plank blocks. I didn't think that they'd get in the way, but I guess I was wrong. You can extend all of the slabs backwards naturally. And you may even find that you want to place slabs and planks backwards behind the door like this. We're actually going to extend all of these oak wood slabs back and we're going to form a similar shaped roof to overhang the top of the door on the back of the build. This is the only way to get up to the back of the build like this. 
and we're going to destroy these two birch plank blocks and we're going to have the same sort of arrangement we're going to turn some of them into planks and then you can connect the front and back entrances together you really shouldn't run into any conflicts in doing this that should be fine when it comes to the roof on the back it, it's a little bit strange but we want to extend the entrance oak slab here across the side of the roof it wants to overhang the side of the build like this and then we're going to use oak wood slabs like this to build up the back of the roof and it's going to come and sit forwards like this just one row above the oak stairs then you extend all of these slabs inwards like this you want to make sure that the oak stairs overhang the side of the build placing upside down oak stairs where possible all over the place like that so you can see the roof's a little bit weird but it, it really doesn't matter too much because you won't be seeing much of it at all and then you just want to fill the top of this in and you may have to destroy a block or two you want to fill the top of this in using some oak slams and once more the roof isn't that fancy because we're actually going to be building a massive pile of leaves on top of it so the reason it's nice and flat on top is because you're not going to be seeing it anyway so this is what we have at the moment we have a pretty fancy house built on top of our tree the next thing i want to do is i want to place birch planks directly underneath all of the empty space underneath the treehouse so what i mean by that is you can see on the inside the treehouse we don't have a floor i want you to use either birch wood or oak wood for this and i want you to place a floor this is going to just sit directly underneath the treehouse itself this is going to just serve as a platform and from this we are actually going to make a shape for the treehouse so i will actually want you to want you to do your best to form a rectangular shape like this um you'll be able to see a bit better from the underside so like we'll have this here this here and we want to have it here so we want to have a nice solid plain shape like this a nice big platform what we're now going to do is we are going to extend the platform so that it comes around all of the uh, all of the treehouse and you'll be able to walk around it nice and freely. So what I'm going to do is extend the platform forwards two rows. This is going to be one row and then two rows just stuck out in front of the platform. On the sides we're going to extend out the side of the platform by one row and I don't think we're going to add two rows I think we're actually going to leave that. We're going to extend it out one row on the opposite side of the platform as well. And then we're going to place two rows of birch planks coming out of the back of the platform. So that's going to be one row and then two rows. I actually don't know whether to make the platform a little bit bigger on the back or not. I might actually just leave it as it is and kind of leave it up to a personal choice as to whether or not you want to... You know what, on the back of the platform, let's add another row just, because, just so it's a little bit bigger back here. Okay, so now here's the thing. On the corners of the platform, we actually want to make it so that the platform is a bit shaped. So I want you to destroy the corner blocks of the platform and the two blocks next to the corner. So I want you to knock off the corner and then these two blocks as well on the sides of the platform. I want you to do this on the front as well. This will give the platform shape. That's all there is to it. It just gives the platform a nice little bit of shape. We want to place oak wood slabs all the way around the side of the platform like this. When we begin building the water slide, the water slide itself is going to get in the way. We will have to delete a couple of blocks here, but I'd actually prefer to get this part of the uh, build nice and completed. Because we've actually almost done the entire house-ish part of the build. And then on top of the oak wood, we are going to place some oak fence on top of the oak wood slams. This is going to go all the way around the top and it's a very nice pleasing effect. Once this is done, we are going to add a couple of windows just to the back of the platform or to the back of the house, I should say, and we'll add an entrance as well in the necessary place. Like this. So that's what we want to have so far. I'm going to just get rid of the birch slabs and I'm going to grab oak trap doors. 
On the front of the house, I'm going to place oak trap doors next to the glass areas where we have the windows. So oak trap doors left and right where we have the glass. I want to do the same thing on the back. On the back here, we're going to take this upper window and we're just going to place uh, trap doors on the lower half of it, just like that. Would it look okay to actually place these? That actually looks kind of cool. I like that, placing some oak slabs to come down where we have the window. I kind of like that effect. On the back of the build here, you can see that there's plenty of space to add another window. I'm going to add one down here which is where we have the window up above us. I, I don't actually want to have another window on the left side, but up here, I'm going to destroy two rows of three directly below where we have the window up above, and I'm going to have the same upside down birchwood stairs, like this, underneath the, uh, underneath the window itself, and then I want to place glass inside of the window too, which is glass pane, and we're going to use some oak trap doors left and right of the window like this. Boom, boom, perfect, like that. So that's a nice way to make a window. And then where we have this overhang, we have a door. There's, you don't have to make this fancy, just a double oak door where this overhang is, is perfect. You can even extend the overhang, I mean, if you want, like another row, if you so choose, something like that, if you want to keep everything nice and centered. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we've actually pretty much done the actual house. We'll be taking care of the water slide a little bit later, but for now, I want to focus on the lower part of the build. I want to focus on the ways that we can get up to the actual house itself which involves us taking a tumble all the way down to the very bottom of the build. Okay, so now that we're down here, we have two separate ways that we can get up to the top of our tree. We can either climb the ladder system hidden inside the trunk of the tree, or we can walk up the spiral staircase on the side of the tree. The staircase is the first thing that we're going to be building. It's very, very easy. In this position right here, right here it should be quite easy to find corner at front left corner of the tree move out diagonally this is the starting position place an oak stairs on the ground you then want to place an oak stairs up and back from that oak stairs and then you want to place another one coming up and back and then another one coming up and back just like this now once you reach a corner side of the tree you want to use your oak slabs and you want to place oak slabs coming back and wrap around the side of the tree like this. So you negate the corner by placing these three oak slabs and then you place one, two oak stairs coming upwards. So on the straight sides of the tree you place the stairs coming upwards and then you place the corner slabs like this to allow you to place two more oakwood stairs coming upwards on the sides of the tree. That's all there is to it. You place the stairs on the flat side of the tree and on the corners, one, two, three oak slabs coming upwards or around the tree rather, I should say, to allow you to place more stairs. The stairs are where you climb and the oak slabs are where you maintain. Eventually, you will get pretty high. You will find that on... What is it? The second time you wrap around the front of the tree, you have probably gained enough height where we can now build ladders leading from this point here upwards. So, the ladders are simply going to be placed on the side on the actual oak wood plank on the actual oak wood blocks here and they're going to be built up inside the platform that we have for the tree so we'll climb up into the actual tree house itself directly from the trunk like this what we can also do is just wrap the platform around a little bit just so that it connects to the front side like that now that we have made a way to actually get up to the top of the tree, I want to add one more. So come all the way down to the very bottom front of our tree house. Destroy these two oak blocks here, 
and place a backwards facing oak door in the empty position. Destroy above the oak door and place a glass block. I want you to place sideways birchwood stair next to the glass block and then a front extending birchwood stair in front of it. Place a birchwood slab going right and then up like that. And then we're going to open the door and place two rows of ladders coming all the way up to the very top of the tree which will lead you inside of the base of the treehouse again. So you've got two different ways. You can climb all the way up and around or you can take the ladders. Or you can include one of those or none of those and have your own way up. It's completely up to you. I'm going to connect the entrance down to the ground using birch fence on the left. And I'm also going to show you how you can make it look a little bit fancier, the actual trunk of the tree that is. So it doesn't really matter where you add this, but here's a cool effect. If you knock out, what blocks do we have to knock out for this? So along the, along the tree, if you knock out about like three rows, like if we start here just right at the top of the entrance, we knock out these oak woods here, these three, and these three. And we place glass block on the inside of the trunk of the tree here and extend it upwards and place birch wood slabs at the base and top of the glass like that, you get a really cool effect. You can do this a little further up the tree as well. So maybe lock, knock out these three blocks and these three blocks, or the ones lower or higher, whatever. And you can place the glass block inside of the tree like this and birch wood slabs at the top and bottom, just like that. It looks, it's a really cool effect. I'm wondering if the corners, if you connect the corners, does it look a little bit weird? I don't know whether I like the corners connected together or not, but you guys get the idea. Like, it's a cool thing to add to the trunk of your train. You can do it to the back and the front and wherever, as long as it doesn't get in the way of anything. Some additional decoration for the tree itself, I would recommend adding some... Actually, we will wait until decorating later, because it kind of... I don't want to get in the way of the water slide or anything crazy like that. So, now that we have done that, ladies and gentlemen, we've done like a huge portion of the tree. We can get up, we can get down, we have the trunk, we actually have the house itself up top here. I want to now focus on the water slide. I know, the part we've all been waiting for. The water slide. Okay, so... The first thing that we have to do is make the water slide entrance. It's quite easy to do. If you come all the way up to the top left side of the house and you locate this birchwood slab block here. Count forwards by one, two, three, right here. I want you to place a birchwood plank in front of this block. Extend that plank down, forwards, down, forwards, down, and then you want to use upside down birchwood stairs for this part and you want to place five upside down birchwood stairs moving forwards like one two three four five coming towards the front of the build place nine upside down birchwood stairs one two three four five six seven eight nine like that the ninth block actually wants to face forwards though like this it's kind of a funky looking slide we want to have a similar deal two rows away from this. So coming all the way back up to the top here, where we have this first birchwood plank, we want to leave a gap of one and two, and then place a birchwood plank, extend down, forwards, down, forwards, down. And then we want to extend forwards by one, two, and now use upside down birchwood stairs and place six upside down birchwood stairs in front. One. Two, three, four, five. I guess it's only five because the sixth block wants to be a regular facing birchwood stairs. As long as it is the same as the opposite side, you guys get the idea. Now you have two options. The more annoying option is to use upside down oakwood stairs to form the base of this. The second least annoying option is to use oakwood slabs, and the least least annoying option is to use oakwood planks. Oakwood stairs look the best. What you would do is you would place upside down 
Oakwood stairs, back to back from each other, like this, back to back, underneath the empty space, and you get a really cool slide shape. It's so tricky to get the right angles here. And the water slide wants to come to here, like you only want to come this far, you don't want to come all the way to the end. And then you place your other opposite facing Oakwood stairs on this side. And there you get like a really cool looking slide look. Like you can see it's really shapely. And it will look even better as we add more and more layers. That's the cool part of this. What we also want to do, by the way, is we want to make a bottom to the water slide. Which is really simple. You can just use maybe like Oakwood planks of this. And just add a bottom to the slide so that when we apply the water, it's not going to run out or anything crazy like that. We also have to make an entrance to the slide, which is actually going to be here. It will lead directly into the house. And you might even choose to add, like, maybe just a, a small lip using oak wood slabs or something like that. You can make the door look a little bit fancier by perhaps using a mixture of, like, oak fence left and right of this. And then maybe you can place like, I don't know, maybe like birchwood slabs and may maybe something like this. I, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe even like raise it in the top here. Maybe just like add something like that. Just to kind of like outline the fact that this is the entrance. And then you can place like backwards facing oak doors here. So now you have kind of like a cool looking entrance leading out onto the water slide. We will be adding the water later, but... The way that we make the water slide, it's quite an easy pattern. You want to place four oak fence coming down from the end stairs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You then want to place upside down birchwood stairs underneath the fence and join them together. What you would then do is extend each upside down birchwood stairs backwards one two three four five six seven eight blocks with a regular one on the end you'll see why it's eight in a second one two three four five six seven eight and then nine to make it a regular this is because the water slide is the same size on the top and bottom on every single layer it's very pattern orientated all you would then do to apply the bottom of the water slide is, of course, place upside down, back to back, oakwood stairs. Or slabs, or planks. Planks are the best option. <laughs> slabs are the second best option. Stairs are the best looking, but most annoying option by far. I'll let you guys decide what you want to do. So you can see, it's really, really cool what we're doing. What we would then do when we get to this end is place one, two, three, four oak fence coming down, one, two, three, four, and then we would do the same pattern, so we place upside down, birchwood fence connecting both sides together, and then you extend both sides forwards by eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then again, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and apply a downwards facing stairs on the end like that it's as easy as that and then you just keep applying the upside down stairs and you keep doing it and this is exactly what we're going to be doing we're going to be doing this until we get near the ground i think that we'll be able to do one more of this if not two more before we actually hit a point where we'll be like ah i don't want any more water slide you'll be able to quite clearly tell when that point will be so we place the back to back stair, it's all looking good. And then we're gonna add another row of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. Yeah, we're gonna be able to do two more after this. The second one after this is going to take us down to the ground. So underneath this, you guys know what to do. Upside down birchwood stairs, and then extend backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight solid one on the end or an, a regular facing one on the end same on this opposite side here we then want to place the upside down oakwood stairs like this underneath on both sides 
Oh, it actually plays properly. Sometimes when you do that fast, like they start turning the other way. And then finally, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I just want to show you guys, so this is the point that we're at. We've got like four parts of the water slide like this, right? Which is really, really good. We've, we've made a huge amount of progress here. So what we're going to do from here, this is the last one. We place our regular upside down birchwood stairs underneath, like this. And then we're going to take both sides and extend forwards. We're going to start with our usual nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on the other side as well, we want to do the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But now we're going to extend this far end forwards by one, two, three. And then one, two, three, coming this way. And then all we have to do is just extend these forwards a couple of rows. So these stairs like one, like one, two, one, two. Two, and then we're going to drop into a pool right here. Or alternatively, you can, you know, have the pool drop a little bit sooner or, you know, wherever, what have you. But the idea is that we now have like a whole system and we just have to place the upside down um, oakwood stairs, which is by far the most difficult on these bottom parts here. But we still want to have the same back-to-back -back stairs. And uh, we'll figure out exactly where the splash pool, the drop pool, is going to be um, once we've just done this part. So that one there, sideways, perfect. So just like that. Oh, that's going the wrong way. Silly me. So this wants to go this way. And how do, how do I do this? Can I place here and then here? Yeah, nope, there. There, there we go. It all connects together now, perfect. And yeah, there you go. So now we have all of the water slide component, which looks really, really simple now that we look at it. All we're missing, of course, is the water. That's the hardest part to add, believe it or not. I know, hardest to last. So what you would do is you would start all the way up here and you would place some water right all the way up at the top. I think that, that I hope that that water actually hasn't sunk into the actual inside the house. We'll find out a little bit later on. But if you start from the top, you drip water down. You'll be able to see where you have to add more water. You cannot add water directly onto the stairs blocks. It will fall directly through it. So what you'll have to do is something like this. You'll have to place some planks and place some water coming from it like this. This is why it is far better far far better to use like it, it's so much easier to use like a uh, slab or plank blocks preferably plank blocks and uh, the water is actually now dipping straight down so we're gonna have to just reduce those stairs here the oak wood stairs we're gonna extend them in a bit I didn't realize that we'd have to extend them in and then that way I'll show you guys in a second we did make a slight boo-boo there we go so that's fine so all of the oak stairs just knock a row off of them and then that way the water will drop directly into the previous part of the water slide and then we'll be good i, I was very very silly i i admit that was completely my fault but you will find that if you get a good water flow up here then you will be able to directly make your way all the way down the slide the most challenging part is going to get good water flow at the top but once you've found that you've got like a decent water flow at the top you will actually gently float down to the previous um levels of the water slide like this so like you'll you'll gently like float down like this and you'll follow it all the way down and the water will go all the way down which means all you've got to do is on this base level here you've just got to add more water blocks that's uh, all you've got to do and um, you know however whatever way you want to do that is going to be tricky no matter what unless you've used planks as a base um, but you will be able to make it so that um, I think that is possible yeah it, it is possible to get a good flow it's, it's difficult but it's possible to get a, a flow going so you know something like that looks really really cool and then you can make it so that the water slide itself i mean you can make it so that it stops a little bit shorter and you can add a bit of a pool around like the base of where the water slide is you know you can make a little bit of an indentation in the ground and you can really make a nice water feature out of it uh, i'll be showing you how you can accentuate this when we go back to the original version of the house but 
This is what we have so far, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the trunk of the tree. We've got the actual tree house itself. We've got the water slide. We can get up. We can get down in a manner of ways. Now, we're going to decorate the lower part of the tree. And then we're going to do the actual top part of the tree. And, and then we're actually done, believe it or not. I know, it's been a hard tutorial, but well done for sticking with it. So, for this, we're going to need oak wood, oak leaves, and torches. Coming up the side of the tree... I would like it if starting from the bottom we had some leaves. So around the bottom I'm just going to place some oak leaves for decoration. Just to add another colour at the base of the tree. Something like this right just going all the way around. I want to apply this in a few different levels. So for instance I want to also apply it here where we have like the window area. And I want it to look as though it's climbing as well. So, like, to follow the shape of the tree, we're going to have the oak leaves sort of, like, climb up the side of the tree like this. Like the pathway does. Just like that. Make sure that you are still able to walk around, by the way. <laughs> so, yup, that's perfect. So make sure you're actually still able to navigate around the tree as you add these. I would recommend adding two different branches on the tree. The first branch is going to be up here, on the top left side of the tree. The branch is going to look like this, uh, just a random collection of oak wood like this, right? And then we're going to place oak leaves on the side and around it to form a branch. This is going to look as though that it supports the platform that we have a little bit. That's its entire purpose, Is it's, it doesn't have to be a massive branch at all. I mean, you can, you can make it massive if you want. Like, you could extend it all the way into, like, where the water slide area is, if you like. But um, that's what the branch looks like, you know? It's, it's something like that. It, it can even be a little bit bushier, and it can even come up a little bit higher like this. But the entire point of this is just to make it look as though it supports part of the platform like that. Make it look nice and normal and natural. We want to add another branch, and this is more important because this branch is going to look as though it does hold up the actual, like, platform itself. This is going to be a really chunky branch, and it's going to have a bit more of, uh, a bit more of a leafy base than the other side. Sounds like we're making a salad, doesn't it, with a leaky, le leafy base, and a leaky base with the water slide. So, you know, add in, like, a row of oak wood to guide you, but then just place, like, leaves. Make it a circular shape if you like to sort of start off with or it's, it'll be more like an oval actually because that's a better shape put for the platform. Kind of like make an oval shape of leaves going around the tree branch like this. Like that. That looks alright. And then add layers to it. That's all you got to do. Then add some layers underneath it. You can even fill it uh, in a little bit more on the inside if you want it to look a bit more dense, a little bit green. And this is more important because this is the really, like, overhanging part of the actual tree itself. So it does look as though it needs some stability here. So if you add something like this, I'm going to show you the difference now. And we might have to add some more layers to it. Like, there you go. Oh, that's wonderful. That looks great. Now it looks as though that the actual tree house is being upheld by the tree branch. Which, that is fantastic. I really like how that turned out. If you want to make the trunk of the tree lighter add some torches that's all that's that's all i have to say really <laughs> add some torches if you think it's too dark you can do that going all the way around the side i'd place them on the side like that if you like especially if you like this view like i do then that way you know it's not in the not in the way at all so the last thing that i'm going to recommend from this point onwards until we get to like some further decorations that's going to completely be up to you later i'll show you on the original version we have to make the top of the trunk of the tree come out the top of the tree house and we want to add leaves to the top of it this takes a long time to do okay so i'm not sure whether you guys remember where the original trunk of the tree is but i can remind you if we come inside the tree house and you extend the trunk of the tree upwards upwards up through the tree house you get a cool effect you get an effect that looks like the actual tree house is built or the actual house i should say is built into the tree which is a cool effect to have not as if you've just built a house and then a tree underneath it it looks as though in survival mode you have done exactly what i've just described you have built a tree 
or you've built a house into a tree rather than you've built a tree on or a house on a tree if that makes sense i hope that's making sense you've built a house in a tree integrated into the tree rather than you've built a house on a tree so i want you to locate the oak woods from earlier and extend them up through the top of the tree house like this you'll have to destroy the roof partially to do this but it's okay so you'll see they'll actually poke out the top and they carry through up through the actual tree house itself make sure that the oak woods extend upwards one row higher than the actual tree itself, or the actual tree house itself Apply a layer of oak leaves directly at the top here, on top of all of the oak woods, like this. Form a square, that's the best shape that you can start off with. Okay, what are we going to be doing now? We have to determine a shape for the leaves. The easiest way to do this is to feel it out. What I mean by this is extend the left side of the leaves outwards until you are happy with how they look. I would go about as far as the actual water slide when it comes to the left side. Extend all of the leaves out to the left like this. So, the leaves are probably going to come out about that far if not a bit further. I want to extend the leaves out to the right side. This time I'm going to extend them out about as far as the balcony area here. And I'm going to extend all of these outwards like this. You want to determine how to extend the leaves forwards as well. How far do you want to go? I'd say about as far as the house. So, where the actual entrance to the house is, probably extend them about that far, right? About that far, give or take, something like that, you know? So, what? How many more rows? A couple more rows? This isn't the science, by the way. Do this in any, any way that you like, but, you know, kind of just... That's got maybe another row. Maybe another row. That would be good. So, like this. And this is how it starts. This is how the very natural look begins. With a nice solid <laughs> rectangular shape like this. Extend all of the leaves back until you are happy with how far backwards the leaves are going to go. So, I would recommend in terms of the back, it can overhang the back a little bit more if you like. We don't, the, the back of the treehouse isn't as detailed. That's not where the focal points of the build are. So, feel free to... Really, I mean, it, it, come as far back as you like, but not in a stupid manner. Like, you probably want to come back maybe about as far as the balcony, something like that. Don't make it ridiculous, but, you know, you do want it to come back a decent distance. I mean, maybe even that much is fine. Maybe uh, I'll add two... No, one more row. One more row after this. Okay? So, we have a nice big template. Let's round the sides. It's easy to do. On the left and right side, we want to make an oval. Simply add a couple of rows of leaves on the side that are one row shorter than the previous layer. Something like that. Or, just knock out the corners. I don't actually want to make this any longer on the sides. So I'm just going to knock out the corners. So like that. Similar to what we did with the platform, you can do that. Just like knock out the corner blocks like this. It's actually not a bad way to do it. And then you'll make an oval. So, to gain height on your treehouse, all you have to do is add leaves around the outside of the top of the leaves. There's two ways that you can do this. You can do this, number one, to either gain height. This would mean stacking the leaves directly on top of the outside layer of leaves. This way, you're going directly up and it's the most efficient way to just build directly up on top. If you want to add layers and depth, do a similar thing, but all you've got to do is shrink it along the outside. So you can do a similar thing, but shrink the leaves along the outside like this. And you can be clumsy, because we are going to make this look more man-made. The more layers you add, the more messy you are, the more normal and real it will look. So that's how you would add a layer, looks very man-made. However, what you can do to combat this is, along the sides, you can add random blocks. You can destroy random blocks. You can make it so that the actual leaves are not perfect. That already looks better. If you can add leaves on top, you can add leaves underneath. Add random patches of leaves coming underneath the treehouse, like this. 
you can see the difference between the left and right side. The left side looks awesome, the right side looks boring and flat. Be sure to add random patches of leaves underneath the entire part of the leaf. Like, not underneath it, all of it, literally all of it, but to add depths and layers and all that fun stuff, you're going to see that if you add it in the back as well, it will benefit. Like, if you take a look from the side now, you will benefit from it. It doesn't even have to be loads of leaves either. You can just add some of it. You know, you can just add little random patches and they, they just add up to make... They, they add up, the small details add up to make really large details. And that's all there is to it. Like, that's how you shape the underneath. That's how you shape the side. And to add more layers to the top, I mean, I've already went over it. Add more and more rows of oak leaves or whatever leaves or... You can even use certain green blocks, just not even leaves. You can use certain green blocks with this too and it'll work just fine. But you just add another layer of leaves once you have shaped and once you're happy or once you're not happy with the height you, that, that's when you add more leaves not when you're happy with the height but you guys get the idea and I'm, I'm not going to go through all of this but like this is how you do it like you you just add more layers like this chunk out some blocks and it's it see how normal that looks that looks great and you can keep doing it and doing it and doing it until you're happy eventually you'll you'll reach a point where you are happy and you'll just put a top on it so once you have reached the point where like ah, the leaves are big enough they're tall enough they're green enough they look random enough they look good enough very natural ah oh, perfect the natural look it's not dyed at all you'll reach that point and you will then just put a top on the leaves and that will be your treehouse complete once you have done that now the leaves of my treehouse do not look perfect but you will see your leaves that i really really like once we flip back to the original version that version has had a lot more time spent on the leaves because it's not in a tutorial i had plenty of time to not shit nice and mold and shape and eyes the top of the tree but you see you don't even have to put that much effort into it to make it look really really good it'll look great as long as you just put a little bit of effort in that's all you have to do and you'll end up with looking something looking and you'll end up with something that looks exactly like that and that looks awesome that that is how you make an ultimate survival tree house with a water slide attached to it now, ladies and gentlemen, this looks all messy and dirty and everything at the moment, but what I want to do now, because the tutorial is finished, we've made every single part of the treehouse, ladies and gents. I'm going to show you the inside of the treehouse, number one, and I'm also going to show you details that you can add to your treehouse to make it look a little bit better from the outside. So, let's warp back over to the original. I'm going to take my port. Whoom. Whoom. Here we are back at the original version of the treehouse. As you can see, very much is the same, but a little bit is different. The first thing that you may notice is that the leaves and branches and small details are more refined on this version of the treehouse. They're much more how I want them. You really do get in or get out rather what you put in with these things. So the more time you spend, the happier you will be. As we look down towards the base of the treehouse, you will see that we have a pool at the edge of the water slide with a grass path surrounding it to accentuate the shape. We have a farm around the base of the treehouse which once more accentuates that shape. It's all about creating that circular shape at the bottom of the treehouse. We even have a walkway using some spruce trap doors as well. We have two entrances into the treehouse. Of course, we can climb up through the trunk of the tree, or we can climb around the trunk of the tree here. As we get up into the actual inside of the treehouse, this is the sort of space that we're looking at. We have enough room for a crafting, furnace, brewing, smelting area. We have plenty of places to upgrade our gear. We have a full enchantment library. We even have little secret hidden away chests, by the way, that you've really got to look hard for. But you could even utilize this space a little bit more if you wanted to. The only way to get up onto the second floor is to walk around 
the house. And by the way, on the back of the platform, we have access to much more survival related things as well. We have some more chess crafting area, we have more smelting, we have armor stands which you could keep bows on and like shoot on oncoming enemies and um, mobs and all that sort of fun stuff. To get onto the second floor there is only one way. The one way is to explore the platform and climb up onto the second story of the house via this staircase here where we have an outdoor farm with some chests to cultivate our crops. But more importantly, we have a door. This doorway takes you into the second story of the house, which is where we have the beds. We keep all of our valuables up here. We have more storage, more crafting, more fun stuff like that. We have a way to get out onto this little mini balcony right here. Hello. And we can also access the water slide, one of the house's key features. And that is a nice little tour, ladies and gentlemen, of the house. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed it. I hope it was worth your time making this. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, ladies and gentlemen, please do remember to hit that like button, as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. If you are new around here, please consider subscribing and click the little bell next to the subscription button. That will ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And if you would like to make more things by me, not only should you leave a suggestion if you want to see something specific, but if you want to see something of old, then feel free to check out the card system and the description below because and also the comment section too I'll pin something at the top of the comments I'm sure that you guys will like because I make all sorts of stuff I make city builds I make large suburban houses I make large survival houses on my second channel I make more fun and goofy things too I make pretty much everything that you might want to see in Minecraft so check out my channel maybe even my second channel too that's in the card system, the description below, and in the comment section too. Right up at the top, I'll pin you something really, really cool that I think that you guys will enjoy. But I'm going to jump off something high to say goodbye because that's kind of my deal. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great, great day. Great, 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 great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good. Bye. I can't believe I cleared it. Nice.